Gil Bacorsi here in the United World Headquarters for a new week of championship wrestling presented by Car Shield. And welcome back to the madness. From the world title main event last week where Zicky Dice surprised us all to the world tag team champs Midnight Heat in the main event this week. It is sure to be chaos as they will team with the institution to battle the Wolf Zaddies and Beef Candy in a massive eight-man tag team match. As we saw, Bad Dude Tito is not content with just being the new number one contender to Limelight's world title, but he wants the tag team titles too, and he has two teams to make a run at them. In other tag action, the young, exciting team of 24K is here today, and in our opening bout, it is two women that have been at odds with each other since last summer, and Savannah Stone looks to get her hands of fortune on Zeta Zhang. There is a lot happening in the United Wrestling Network, and it starts now. Championship Wrestling, TK Todd Kennelly, James Kincaid with the call of the action, ready for another chapter in the war between Savannah Stone, who has been a big time adversary thorn in the side of Zeta Zhang. Boy, what a what a rivalry we saw in our main event last week as well. Clark Connors and Danny Limelight, world title on the line, and then of course we saw what Zicky Dice had to do. Give in, written on the hands of Stone, a message certainly for Zhang. And introducing her opponent, Zeta, bring the bang, Zhang! Zeta, bring the bang, Zhang. Big victory over Danielle Camilla in Ace Arizona as part of the Red Carpet Rumble festivities. Looking to build on it here. Yeah, just hasn't been able to rid herself of the likes of Savannah Stone. Because every time she seems to get a victory, then, then there's a sneak attack or just brutal physicality by Stone. It's something that Zeta Zeng's gonna continuously defend. Yeah, I mean, just get a look at the, the, the bruises already on Stone's body, just charging right in ambush assault from Stone, just waylaying Zhang. And yes, give in written on the hands. I don't know Zhang to be the type to ever give in, but she might be forced into it, courtesy of Savannah Stone. Savannah Stone has proven to be unbreakable when it comes to the malice and just hatred for Zeta Zhang and trying to make life a living hell for Bring the Bang Zhang. Zeta Zhang trying to fight from underneath here. And again, this is oh, rough God. that attack. Look at this slap right over the ear. Pulling. Oh, but look at this. Seizing the arm there is Zeta Zhang, undefeated in the MMA cage and fighting fire with fire when it comes to the physicality. Oh, but Stone gonna fire right back, wild, swing and a miss, and now that's the opening that Zhang needed. Flurry of strikes, but no Stone blocked it, but coming right back with the counter is Zhang. Into the cover, able to weather the early storm was Zeta Zhang, but just look at Stone, even just after she kicks out, just so much malice yep, in that woman. Fights from her back, just <laughs> continues to attack, no matter what, does unbreakable Savannah Stone, and man, these two, it's almost as if they were just made to go to war with each yeah, other. Yeah, almost destined to do this forever, so to speak. Just so much anger in the heart of Stone, you can just see it. You're nobody! You're nobody! You're nobody! Savannah Stone, heavy, heavy hitter. And uh, great wins in the past over the likes of Brent Thorne. Tag team win over oh. Zeta Zane as well. Stone enjoying herself right now. Taking a little bit too much time again, giving the opening to Zhang. Back up to their feet. Zhang putting the brakes on. Stone doesn't like that one bit, frustrating her in the center of that ring. This man of Stone just seems like she's always in a bad mood. Yeah, I, always has a chip on her shoulder. 
One, of the, one of the scariest competitors that we have here in the United Wrestling Network. What a kick right to the midsection though by Zhang. Stone is just intensity personified, but guts personified as Zeta's a beautiful throw there. Center of the ring, almost puts her away. So accomplished in the mixed martial arts world is Zhang. Need every bit of that now. Got Stone right where she wants her. Just covering up is Savannah Stone. Yeah, you talk about the MMA exploits out of the full mount. Some great ground and pound by Zeta Zhang. But again, I don't know if you want to get in a brawl with Savannah Stone. Nice snap suplex there by Zhang looking to capitalize. Oh my, again, just keeps moving forward. Just, just the mean spiritedness and just, <laughs> just blatant slap, just disrespect. Oh my God! This thing is this thing is real, real personal, partner. No doubt about it. You can you can see it. It is palpable. Two of them, we can feel it here at ringside. Yeah. They can feel it even more in that ring. They're hit with bad intentions. Tee and off. No doubt about it. These two have just absolutely slapped the taste out of each other's mouth, man. What a war! Can I just say, mercy? Yes. Zayn though in control now. And it, it, for Zane, you, you got to do your best to utilize your skill set, which is what she's doing right here, and not allow Savannah Stone to get under her skin. Easier said than done. Yeah, I, I, th I think that train has left the station. God, the, the Stone throws big time shots, and it just keeps her mouth moving too. Just talking a lot of trash in there. And she's double tough, man. Is Savannah Stone she really is maniacal? Nice single leg kick there, but look at this. Great presence of mind right there on the ropes and not allowing Zeta Zane to try and, you know, go from position to submission. Yeah, and that's, and that's gotta be continuing to get under the skin of Zeta Zang. Back up to her feet, going toe to toe again are these ladies. Zang saying, do it again. Putting some extra salt on it is Stone. Oh! And double chop. And Zeta Zang, despite what the hands might say, doesn't look like she's gonna give in anytime soon. She keeps fighting fire with fire. Absolutely unhinged is Stone, but look at Zang. Now taking Stone off her feet. This match has been one big time feast of physicality, both giving it everything they got into the cover now. Something's gotta give in this thing eventually. Oh and, but again, God, this so is one dangerous. giant contusion in the ring. I, I tell you what, Savannah Stone, very dangerous everywhere, even from her back. I don't know if I've ever seen a, a sort of dueling battle of maliciousness quite like this. It's a, you know, there, there's bragging rights here. Neither one wants to give up a victory here against their competitive rival, their nemesis. And uh, Zeta Zeng, though, using her speed. Speed and striking ability, but a split second, right to the throat goes Stone and clubbing blows, just throwing with reckless abandon into a cover. I'm stunned to see Stone even go for one. She's a wild animal in there. Yeah, you know, again, it's every time, just when Zeta Zane looks like she's got a light at the end of the tunnel, just a big time freight train coming her way in the form of Savannah Stone, who just keeps pressing forward and fighting. Yeah, it's, Savannah Stone might be the no leaf clover of the women's division here. No doubt. Listen, it's absolute maniac. Just a completely like, rabid animal. Just fro frothing at the mouth. This is terrifying. Zane got her. Zane got her. Maybe steal a little page out of the Danny Limelight playbook. The hooks are in, looking for the choke. Stone might Starting be going out here. here. Oh. No, slipping out of it. Zane trying to hang with her. Pulse the body, body out here. And yeah, these two have some history. We've seen that. The lethal accessory. Yes. He's been instrumental. And then what, talk what's about what's going on you, here. Oh, look at that. You talk about a lethal accessory. Stone's got one. That Billy Club. How did she get that? Must have been in the man cape moo moo or whatever you want to call it. Of Halston body, but. And that wild animal. Winner by a disqualification, Zeta Zang. Oh my God. But Stone. Somebody get some help. I don't know if the victory was really the key 
for Stone, just trying to absolutely decimate Zeta Zang. What is going on? What has come over Savannah Stone? Just decimating Zeta Zang. Well, now what? What's this all about? You got the institution. There you see Divine Honest and the television champion, Jack Banny. What's this all about? I don't know, but what is, is this signifying that Savannah Stone being indoctrinated? Maybe so. A little recruiting visit here by oh, the God, institution, no. and I think oh, no. Stone would fit right in. Maybe that, that is what came over her. The outstretched hands of the institution will Savannah Stone answer. And shocked really? and bewildered here is Halston Body, who thought, you know, he had recruited Savannah Stone to his ranks. Oh my God. Oh man. That is a scary, scary sight. Institution just got that much more deadly. And as a group with the title, with the power, they might be unbreakable. We'll be back. In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. What in the world? I can't let you drive without calling Car Shield, Steve. You drive great. So what if your warranty's expired? I don't want you paying for expensive repairs, Steve. That's so nice. Now can you open the door, please? I'm afraid I can't do that until you call Car Shield. Can I call them later? Their administrators pay for expensive repairs on engines, transmissions, ACs, and up to 6,000 other parts. I'm listening. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. All you have to do is call before you break down. Car Shield sounds pretty good. Think of all the road trips we could have with their nationwide coverage, Steve. I love road trips. And with the money you save, you could get those salsa lessons you always wanted. Put me through the car shield. Dial it. I see why they call you a smart car. <laughs> Don't get stuck paying for sky high car repairs. Call Car Shield before your next breakdown. Call 800 409 2695. 800 409 2695. Megan Harmon backstage with world champ Danny Limelight, who had a successful defense last week against Clark Connors. But it was what happened after the match that stole the buzz throughout the industry. Megan, how you doing, mommy? Doing good. Yeah, you talk about what happened last week. You know, everybody watching at home, mi gente from the United Wrestling Network fan base, you all know Danny Limelight likes to have a good time. I love to party, but you see, the partying, the women, the clothes, all the cars, that comes second to be United Wrestling Network World Heavyweight Champion. You see, Zicky, you decided to attack me from behind. You play a little video on the screen, distract Boppy, you come in the coward way. That's a real lame move from a former Heritage and TV champion. But I get it, Boppy. You've never been World Heavyweight Champion. And I know for a fact that I got a target on my back. I know everybody in the locker room, everybody across the wrestling business wants Boppy's gold. But you see, Zicky, I don't care if it's you, if it's your daddy, if it's your mommy, if it's your Uncle Billy Dice with the missing tooth, or your Grandpa Paco Dice with the peg leg, you could call your sister Ashley Lice. They call her Lice because she got stuff going on up here in her hair. You might want to fix that. Call all of them. You could call the number one contender, Bad Dude Tito, the Rumble winner, Invictus Cash. Invite all of them to the family reunion so they can all watch Poppy beat you down, bozo. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one call. Introducing first. Of 371 pounds, Biggie Rose, Michael Hopkins, 24K. Their opponents already in the ring at a combined weight of 363 pounds, Jason Levi and James Brady. Switching gears to tag team action. And here you see 24K, who that's exactly what they have their sights on. If they can keep up their winning ways, they'd love to claim some serious gold in the form 
of the United Wrestling Net Network World Tag Team Titles. And yeah, and very aptly named because they sort of struck gold in this unlikely pairing, coalesced together very quickly, and now have become a very formidable tag team. So we'll see how they equip themselves here. Hopkins starting things off. Yes, the main attraction wrestler, Mr. Always Winning, and he's been on the right side of the win column with Mickey Rose quite a bit as 24K, since they've been minted as 24K. And it's gonna be James Brady kicking things off for his ten. Brady tangling with Hopkins pretty well in there right now. Hopkins taking that arm control though. Nice ringer from Hopkins and the tag to Miggy Rose. Oh, what a shot. Double teaming now the name of the game here for 24K. Big double hip toss. Now you look back there, you got, is that, is that guy cool? Must be happy hour. <laughs> yes. I think it's always happy hour if you're guy cool. That is true. Party captain indeed. Look out here though. 24K is putting it on. James Brady now into the cover. But, but you know, Guy Cool, like, catching a side him, looks like he's actually got a vested interest in, in watching there am amongst the crowd here at the Improv, so. Well, maybe doing some scouting. I mean, Guy Cool was a manager of champions, in essence, in the past with Midnight Heat. They're the champs again, but that, that uh, association seems to have gone south, and I guess you could say the Guy who in a way, was a tag team champion himself as part of that uh, Freebird rule. Absolutely. Just sort of curious what he is doing here, but back to the action in the ring. 24K looking very good right now. Not, uh, not much in the way of offense for the team of Jason Levi and James Brady. And a good look at uh, the guy cool out there again, who's just taking in the action. About, about as pensive as I've ever seen him look. Yes, I you know normally just that frenetic pace, just uh, caffeine fuel, and whatever other substances are running through his veins. He's made Brady in there. We've seen Brady in action. You know, cleaning house. Hard nosed competitor, well versed, and uh, all kinds of fired up here. Big scoop and a slam there by Brady onto Miggy Rose at a. Uh, Rose might welt if this continues. Hopkins checks him. Doubling him over. Oh, what a shot from Hopkins. Got him reeling. 24K once again showing off their tag team continuity. Nice double team there. Great timing. That double team maneuver tag is made. Another look at Guy Cool there who is just taking it all in. Nasty sandwich job there for 24K. Oh. A little kiss of goodbye. Maybe a long kiss goodnight there from 24K. See if Brady fares any better. Oh no. Like it. Look out here. Look, oh, he's trying to fight his way out. He's biting him. Hey, biting Hopkins. No. Oh, not able to get fully out of dodge, though. Looks like Brady's going to take a ride whether he wants to or not. He is cinched in at this point. Oh my God. Long way down there. 24K continues to shine bright. Here are your winners, 24K. With authority, nice win for 24K. Great showcase for them. And Guy Cool now entering the chat here. What? Seem to want to get in on the celebrating act with 24K. There's a lot of recruiting going on this week. We saw what happened with Savannah Stone yeah, and, and, and the institution. Oh, he's still holding, he's holding open go. the ropes. Doors open. Hopkins walking through it. Miggy Rose doesn't look so sure about it. I mean, history would dictate that might, that might not be a bad way to go if, uh, you know, the, the world tag team titles are in your sight, certainly. A lot of history there when it comes to Guy Cool. More action coming your way on Championship Wrestling. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Fake bomb. Fake glass. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me.
But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. What in the world? I can't let you drive without calling Car Shield, Steve. You drive great. So what if your warranty's expired? I don't want you paying for expensive repairs, Steve. That's so nice. Now can you open the door, please? I'm afraid I can't do that until you call Car Shield. Can I call them later? Their administrators pay for expensive repairs on engines, transmissions, ACs, and up to 6,000 other parts. I'm listening. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. All you have to do is call before you break down. Car Shield sounds pretty good. Think of all the road trips we could have with their nationwide coverage, Steve. I love road trips. And with the money you save, you could get those salsa lessons you always wanted. Put me through the car shield. Dialing. I see why they call you a smart car. <laughs> Don't get stuck paying for sky high car repairs. Call Car Shield before your next breakdown. Call 800 409 2695. 800 409 2695. Contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from the Barbary Coast, weighing in at 185 pounds, Dom Kubrick. Kubrick showing some of that zest that we saw early in his career. He's, he ditched the black hoodie and a little bit more showmanship here for Kubrick. Yeah, back, back to I think what he knows best, where he has found so much success in his past. Such a great athlete, so unorthodox, unique. One of my favorites to watch here in the United Wrestling Network. So impressive. We've seen him in some big Haas fights right yeah. here in the United Wrestling Network. At one point, got a victory over Sledge. What a physical encounter that was. It got, uh, that was a ball. monster movie. God, it was. It looked like it should have been on Skull Island or the streets of Tokyo. And uh, got involved in recent action as well when you think of Levi Shapiro and Rob McKnight. Of course, Primo Henio and Lord Crew, who was sent packing. Yeah, Big Haas helped <laughs> lead Crew to the exit, so to speak. Kicked him out the door. Kubrick got to use all of that unorthodox style here, you got to believe, against somebody like Big Haas. But charging right in there, I believe that's a mistake. Yeah, big snap down there. Kubrick takes a one-way trip down to the canvas. It, from the looks of his physique, Kubrick has been spent a lot of time in the gym. Looked like he's put on some size, some muscle, but that's not going to be enough to take on just the sheer physicality. He's going to have to stick and move in there with Big oh, Haas. Got to pick your spots. He might not be sticking and moving much longer. He's getting tattooed by Haas. Kubrick so impressive, though. Step up in Zaguri. Rocks the big guy, if only for a second. Follows up. Kubrick, what an explosive half. Yeah, nicely done. Just curling himself up into a cannonball and launching full force into Haas. But now I think biting off more than he can chew. Just taking a big back body drop from Haas. In there with Haas, he'll send you out to pasture in a hurry. And Kubrick, though. One step ahead there, but gets followed in by the big guy. Oh Look boy. at this, Dragon Sleeper drops him down, 12 to six. Rough landing Dick for Kubrick. Good night. Grounded into the covers. This could do it, no, not yet. Let's go, Kubrick's such a great athlete, but I mean, man, I just, this big hoss is just a, a gigantic He's a load. human being. I mean, it's, it's, you really got to, there's a lot of your offensive playbook. And I'll tell you, Tom Kubrick's got a playbook thicker than a, a cheesecake factory menu. But a lot of that might go out the window against somebody, the, the body style of Big Hawks. Yeah, I just have to question Kubrick's strategy from the start. I think he wanted to show off some of his power game, but you can't do it in there with a guy like Big Hoss. But he did create that distance. Needs this. Going to follow up here. Changing directions on Haas. Scores with a kick to the head. Doesn't knock the big man down, though. Springboard. What agility and precision from Kubrick. Got to love that. Comes up with the Hurricane Rana. Takes the big guy up and over. Using that velocity. Boy, it looked like he got shot out of a can in there, did Kubrick. Well, and Haas's doors off for a moment, but Haas able to turn things around and just one big time right hand turns it all around. 
Kubrick hanging tough. He sure is, but this fight means a lot to both. Out the back door goes Kubrick, trying oh. to chop that big tree down. Oh my goodness, what a suplex that was. Ring rattler from Kubrick. Big time purchase. Can he capitalize? Oh, what is, oh, come on, what is this now? We've got company here, Halston Body, and again, you'll remember, he threw out Kubrick like yesterday's yeah. news at one point. So a whole lot of history there, but now that Lord Crew's not in the picture, who knows what, what Halston's maybe, thinking. Maybe Halston come groveling back to his old yeah. meal ticket. Oh, mercy! Nasty stuff there by Big Hoss. Halston just jawing with Big Hoss at ringside. Wait a minute. What's the meaning of this now? Now you got Sledge in there. These two have history. We've mentioned it. That Big Hoss is defeated. Has defeated Sledge, Sledge in the past, but Sledge just offered up Big Hoss to Kubrick. And Kubrick, not too proud to claim a big time victory here. Here is your winner, Tom Kubrick. More questions than answers, and I don't think Kubrick would expect any help from Halston Body given yeah. their history. He looks uh, terribly vexed, I would say, just Dom Kubrick. As, as am I, what is, what is going on? Sledge joining forces with Halston Body? Well, he just might be replacing one monster with another. The merciless one was sent packing. And look at this association. Shiny new acquisition for Halston Body. Yeah, talk about a body shot. Look at Sledge, what an athlete he is, but man, made a big difference in this one. More coming your way right here on Championship Wrestling. So like I was telling you guys, I am a former two-time tag champ myself. Some want to call me Mr. Freebird, but what's in the name, right? Point is, spent a lot of time with the office. Got some pool, think we could use it to get you guys to the top, huh? You, me, the three of us, the way to be, what do you say, eh? That's the push we need, Miggy. The road to gold, baby. Think about it. Okay, but we've been on a winning streak lately. You do you really think this is what we need? He's got the pull. I trust him. And I trust you, Hoppy Hops. Do you think this is about. what we need? This is what we need. This this is what we need. Well, we're in. All right, yes! Oh, man. That's what I'm talking about. 24K going live in 23K, baby. Oh, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> what do you say? We're going all the way. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> In a world where people drive dirty every day, there's one duck with sunglasses who has a dream to be fast, clean, and loved everywhere. Quackles is giving you the chance to be a champion just like him. He's giving away a one-of-a-kind Quick Quack Championship belt autographed by some of your favorite United Wrestling Network stars. To enter, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit DontDriveDirty.com slash belt. You fell in love with her years ago. You share a love that's endured. You would do anything for her. So why are you letting erectile dysfunction keep you from satisfying her in the bedroom? Guys, you're not alone. Now you can get and keep an erection, and most of all, you can satisfy your partner. It's time to take control of your erectile dysfunction once and for all. Recapture your love life today with the same ingredients, the same results, at a fraction of the cost of those other brands. What are you waiting for? Call now. Put that smile on her face and live life to the fullest. Don't let another unsatisfied night go by. Get 50 pills discreetly sent to you for just $149. But wait, if you act right now, we'll take $50 off your order. That's 50 pills for only $99. This is a limited time offer, so act now. Call for him, for her, and receive 50 pills for only $99. Put the love back in your love life today. Call now. Hello everyone and welcome back to Championship Wrestling presented by Car Shield. As we all know, Bad Dude Tito is the new number one contender for the United World Championship following his victory in a fatal four-way match at the Red Carpet Rumble. So right now we're going to go back and take a look at the dominant career Bad Dude Tito has had over a decade plus in United. He was actually one of the most dominant heritage champions of all time, but now his sights are set on the United World Championship. So right now, let's take a look at the career of Bad Dude Tito.
You can feel the tension just oozing out of Bad Dude Tito finally getting this opportunity. As you mentioned, been battling for months and months against the... Peter Ambo oh. trying to start things off, sneaking up on T Bad Dude Tito, but he gets caught Tito, in a bad way. Tito had him scouted, Joe, caught him in minute, now he's wailing away in the corner. Bad Dude Tito oh. coming unleashed in the beginnings of this matchup. Oh, man. Full fast forward. Oh, look at this. Oh, are you kidding up, me? Up top. Whoa! Fade to black! Fade to black! It, no way! No way! Oh my god! Ladies and gentlemen, you are a winner and new Hollywood Heritage Champion, Bad Dude Tito! Unbelievable! What's Unbelievable! It? What did we just see? Bad wait, Dude Tito wait, just wait. decimated PPA! Let's take a look at this replay brought to you by the United Wrestling Network International Wrestle Center. You can basically play the whole match. That was the, if you blinked, you would have missed it. Bad new Tito able to get professional Peter Avalon up on his shoulders, fade to black, and it's over. I mean, we, we could have put this match on Instagram. Bad new Tito just destroyed him for who the bell tolls, putting an end to the historic, tyrannical Heritage Championship reign of pretty Peter Avalon. 672 days. And it's over. The light at the end of the tunnel was bad dude Tito. The opportunity now for the Wolf Saddies to take advantage. Look at that sandwich. Nasty double forearm. How is the what? Hawaiian Lions Are you stirring? kidding me? Just muscling bad dude Tito over the ropes, bringing him out to that, that hard ramp on the outside. These guys aren't human. I'm telling you, their tolerance for pain, ungodly. Talk about you can talk about adrenaline can do wonders. You mentioned it, Joe Galley. Bad blood can do wonders. And the referee allowing a lot of leniency in this thing. Well, I think she has to. She knows the, the story behind these two. She knows the bad blood between them. And you got to let these guys fight it out. And besides the fact, I don't know who in their right mind would want to get in between this kind of, of heavy physical Amen. situation. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Not too many people would take a moment to officiate this matchup. And, Allison Lee has definitely done a commendable job. Double team offense yet again. Could this be it? Could he put him away? Oh my gosh, that was a that was a race to the finish there for bad dude Tito. That was a, a dead heat to get there and make the save. Yeah, Jake Cabrera was able to get the shoulder up anyways, but bad dude Tito, I don't think it would have mattered. I think bad dude Tito just wants to get in there and fight anyways. Rules be damned. You gotta think, man. Whoever wins this thing, they're gonna wear home some serious black and blue. I mean, they are gonna be, they're gonna get up slow in the morning, that is for sure. This has been ugly. Oh man, they're just dumping them all to the outside here at Thunder Studios. What's the wine line got planned here? Got him put in that position. Big time DDT, little payback for that DDT on the ramp earlier in the matchup. And using that leverage to his advantage, getting a little extra impact on the dome of Che Cabrera. This has been a war of attrition, Joe Galli. Oh, man, an absolute battle. And Navajo Warrior, now the legal man in for the tribe. That huge, devastating job. What? What happened? The time limit has elapsed. This country is a triple. Time limit expires. We, we have a NWA World oh, Heavyweight title matchup coming, so there are going to be time limits in force. But I don't think uh, they're going to be obeying any time limits, t time limits or any rules. And now the tribe deposits the zaddies on the ramp yet again. TK, you said rules be damned when the actual match was officially going on. And now rules be damned after the match. I'm telling you, late, great college football broadcaster Keith Jackson said it best when he said, down in the land of the big uglies, there's nowhere to go but down. These guys are still fighting. And clobbered by Willie Mack. Stunner! Willie Mack with a big time stunner there, but couldn't capitalize mm. because whether it was luck or wherewithal, Captain Sean Dean rolled to the outside, and now you got to deal with one bad dude. Bad dude Tito back to his feet, now starting to uncork a few onto Willie Mack. I think Joey Janela just said, hey, let's let's team up on bad Willie. Bad dude, bad boy in conjunction, but a dysfunction at the conjunction. And Willie Mack makes breaks through. Willie Mack. Tell you what, the faithful here, James, the, the United Wrestling faithful here in Bell Bank Park, solidly behind Willie Mack, who is a mainstay on this program. Such a fan favorite wherever he goes. I'm sure everyone would love to see him get another shot at the World Championship. Oh, Willie Mack 
clear the deck! Coming in for a rough landing on Bad Dude Tito. When it comes to the action here, got to pay homage to the late, great Don West and say, are you kidding me? This has been unbelievable. Samoan drop there by Willie Mack. Can he do it? Can the big guy? How much gas is left in the tank? Here? Willie yeah. Mack is sucking wind here, TK. Still <laughs> got enough left, does Willie Mack. Dig deep time, second, third, fourth win. Standing tuck into the splash. Okay, That's standing moonsault, but again, the competitors have found themselves unable to immediately capitalize. Uh-oh, look out here, Willie. Oh, no, come maybe on. Maybe thinking six stars. Oh, and Tito doesn't realize, or maybe he does. Yeah, rolls into it. That was smart by Tito. Tito recognized he was in the absolute danger zone. Took away that frog splash in a hurry, did Tito. Oh, bad dude looking for, has bad intentions here, looking to go all the way up to the penthouse, all the way down to the basement with Mercy! the superplex. Incredible. The ground, the ground just shook, guys. Willie Mack is down and maybe out, but yet again, the theme thus far, Tito not able to capitalize. I think we just brought the uh, the earthquakes from California down here to Arizona. <laughs> from San Jose to Mesa. And San Andreas Fault is moving. And John a super, super kick, kick from Janela. Janela. And he's got Tito up and down a DVD. Can he become the number one contender? Deep leg hook, Janela's gonna do it here. No, Tito just able to get the shoulder up. Fraction of an inch away from the referee's hand, hitting the mat for the three count. The bad boy now. Look at the, the daredevil, touches. and he's perched on top. Nobody home for the double stomp. Some distance there, got him up. The paint it black, paint it black, and a black out there for the bad boy. Not the first, won't be the last. Here is your winner, Bad Dude Tito. Tito gets the win and is the number one contender. But who will he face? The world title on the line yet to come in our main event. Don't worry. It's fake. That's a good Fake bomb. That's a good Fake class. Oh, I'll do it. I swear on my mother's grave. Fake threat. Fake dead guy. Fakes like those don't scare me. But fake meds, that's a different story. Verify your meds with safe.pharmacy. Protect those you love from bad meds. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. I'm here with Charles R3 Cassis and his group now known as Final Destination, who made a major statement in their win in our six-man tag weeks ago. Finally, finally, the chapter of Peter Avalon is closed. Now as we turn the page to the next chapter, it reads a little something like this. One down and everybody else to go. The entirety of the United Wrestling Network saw what we had to offer. We showed everybody what we are made of when we took down three of the top talent here at United. But here's the thing, that is just the beginning. Because Evan Daniels, Charles Cassis, Bryce Saturn, we are showing everybody what we are made of. Now, as far as Peter Avalon goes, we have reached our final destination. And as far as the tag team division goes, we're just getting started. The following contest is an eight-man tag team match scheduled for one call. Introducing first. Well, 
fitting that you see Beef Candy out here because there's going to be a whole lot of beef on their team when you check out their partners in this big eight-man tag team main event featuring some of the top teams in the United Wrestling Network. <laughs> The Wolf Zaddies back in action here. Championship wrestling, and boy, you talk about imposing silhouettes. You're talking about the Wolf Zaddies, TK. Yeah, one of the most physically dominating teams in the history of the United Wrestling Network have scored some, some huge wins. Remember at the times of Primetime Live, went to the war with the likes of the Tribe. And uh, man, what, what a time it's been for Bad Dude Tito, former Heritage Champion, and has won a Red Carpet Rumble in the past as well, but the story was that the Red Carpet Rumble won a star-studded fatal four-way matchup, which in essence makes him number one contender, guarantees him a shot at the world title down the line. But might be hedging his bets here because he could be a front runner for the tag team titles as well. Institution has a lot of momentum going their way too, James Kincaid, when you think their mentor, their leader, Jack Banning, claiming the United World Television title. They've seemingly added Savannah Stone to their ranks. Yeah, continuing to look to completely redefine the landscape here at Championship Wrestling, and I feel for their partners, Midnight Heat, honestly. Midnight Heat made history in Mesa, Arizona as part of the Red Carpet Rumble, dethroning, at the time, the only three-time United Wrestling Network World Tag Team Champions. But by winning the titles, they have tied that mark, three-time champions in their own right. Yeah, history made. But as I said before, if, if I'm Midnight Heat, I am, I am not eager to face the opponents. I'm not eager to tag with the institution as well. Rare that I feel for the Midnight Heat, but in this case, I do. Well, you know, I don't think the Wolf Zaddies and Beef Candy are gonna be the best of friends as well. There's a lot of combustible elements in this thing, and everybody wants to end up standing tall and uh, inching closer to a tag team title matchup with those two, the Midnight Heat. Yeah, and, it, and maybe it's a just a very personal seat for the Midnight Heat to reassess what the tag team ranks are looking like. See how they want to want to play it. Honest John getting into it with Eddie Pearl. I mean, they, this is what I'm talking about. It, unsettling. Yeah. Oil and water, for sure. Well, and to wit, your point. Yeah. Flex inserting himself. Uh, Cabrera wanted to start things off, so it's Honest John and Flex. Honest John, great athlete, in control early. Oh. Nobody home there, Flex out of there. Beef Candy, former champions as well. So much power in the flame of Flex McCallion. A lot of power on that team yes. as a whole. Flex showing off his skills right now at the expense of Honest John. It's an interesting choice for him to start the matchup, and I say choice, he, he just asserted himself. And there's the tag, I don't think, Flex is looking to tag Richie Slade, choice. and now in comes Shane Cabrera. Choice, are you making beef puns now? <laughs> U.S. double-A grade, that is. Tag is made, Rock and Ricky runs right into a big clothesline, courtesy of Shea Cabrera. Ricky Gibson, in a bad way, in the hands of Shea. Ricky trying to beg off here. Oh, just stomping on the feet. That'll get it done. And Wild swing and a miss. And oh, what? No, nicely done by Ricky. He is a tag team specialist for sure. Continuity there, and Divine 
checking in here, but dividing and conquering right now is Shea Cabrera, who is just a wrecking machine. But now here you see the double team tactics, a fixture of the champs. And uh, you know, despite what we said, these two teams working very well together right now. Can they get the big guy up and over though? I, I, I would be shocked if no that pays off. And Two for Pearl. the price of one there for Shea Cabrera. And something's got to give here. These eight men squaring off. And letting the fist to fly. It is the Pier 6 Brawl Bedlam here at the Irvine Improv. Total chaos. The Zaddies, Beef Candy standing tall. We'll return right after this. What in the world? I can't let you drive without calling Car Shield, Steve. You drive great. So what if your warranty's expired? I don't want you paying for expensive repairs, Steve. That's so nice. Now can you open the door, please? I'm afraid I can't do that until you call Car Shield. Can I call them later? Their administrators pay for expensive repairs on engines, transmissions, ACs, and up to 6,000 other parts. I'm listening. Car Shield is America's number one auto protection company. All you have to do is call before you break down. Car Shield sounds pretty good. Think of all the road trips we could have with their nationwide coverage, Steve. I love road trips. And with the money you save, you could get those salsa lessons you always wanted. Put me through the Car Shield. Dial it. I see why they call you a smart car. <laughs> Don't get stuck paying for sky-high car repairs. Call CarShield before your next breakdown. Call 800-409-2695. 800-409-2695. Welcome back, everyone, to our unpredictable wild eight-man tag team main event. As the battle lines have been drawn in the sand in this one. And boy, I'll tell you, Cabrera has been impressive. Yes, he has. Isolating Honest John. Now there's a five-star tag to the back from Richie Slade, who now enters the matchup. I'm gonna keep Honest John from, from making the tag, and I, I hesitate to say this, but I think you're right that the continuity side of things has been with Midnight Heat and the Institution. I didn't think that the Institution could play well with anybody but their own ranks. Yeah, you, you know what you would think, but the eye candy in there, Richie Slade, as he now has to kick out of the cover of Honest John, former Heritage oh. champion, former tag team champion. He doesn't like to give up the spotlight to anybody. No, he doesn't, but he made a big time mistake just swinging wildly into the corner of Midnight Heat in the Institution, and now they're making him pay for it. They trapped him in there. Slade has got to find a way to make an escape. A scoop slam from Honest John with authority into the cover. Able to get out the back door is Slade. Tag is made, opportunistic tag there for Rock and Ricky Gibson in there with a longtime rival and Richie Slade. Beautiful back elbow into the cover. This is what Midnight Heat really do so well. Isolate and destroy. Now you're seeing the frequent tags between Gibson and Pearl turning this into their style of matchup. And again, despite the fact they were two-time champs going into that match with the Reno Scum, I think, you know, the, the, the money was squarely on the side of the Reno Scum in that one, and I think turning a lot of heads with that historic victory in Midnight Heat. You know, it was a little bit of robbery, too as you might expect from the Midnight Heat, just continuing to isolate and punish Richie Slade. Divine, longtime tag team wrestler as well before joining the likes of the institution. So he's perfectly comfortable in this type of environment. I'll tell you who's not comfortable is Richie Slade. What a shot, a deep leader there. Richie Slade probably regretting tagging himself in. Not able to, oh, he nearly, nearly fell into his home corner, but so close yet so far away is Slade. Yeah, and if I'm, if I'm divine, I'm doing everything I can to keep Bad Dutino or Shea Cabrera, <laughs> yes. or Flex Battalion for that, for that matter, out of the ring. Pearl trying to continue to just decimate Richie Slade. Into the cover. Two count. Slade still showing a lot of moxie to kick out. Sure did. And again, see more teamwork here. Tag was made. Divine, a little, a little hesitation to enter there, so not not all is well on their side yeah, of the table. It's not exactly a well-oiled machine, James Kincaid, but they have been effective 
Wearing the uh, magnetic boots there is Richie Slade. Hanging on for dear life. And can he get there, can he get there? Fingertips oh, away, so there's close. another tag. Honest John coming in. Looking for the double team. We're Divine and John, but Slade able to get out of it. Now he has to make a tag. In comes Gibson. Blanketing him there is Rockin' Ricky T. Over the top goes Richie Slade going tweeners. Oh my gosh. And then and you gotta contend with Precious Eddie. Bill Peter wishes he had Eddie Pearl on his side, but there's the uh -oh. tag. Here comes one bad dude, and this guy has been on oh fire. God. Defeated Willie Mack, Sean Dean, Joey Janella. He's been on fire in Japan. He's been part of TMDK and right here, part of the Wolf's Addies, of course. The number one contender is just unleashing an onslaught, but the tag team champions now looking to reassert themselves. But Tito just unstoppable right now. Tito gonna take out both members of the tag team champions single-handedly. It's been a blockbuster start to the year for Tito. Double blockbuster there into the cover on Honest and Eddie P makes the split second save. I mean, think of what Tito's got going here. He's number one contender to the world title, right? He's a member here of the Wolf Zaddies. He and Shane Haste also had a victory it here as TMDK that really lined him up for a world tag team title shot. He, he could be looking at gold in every direction. You're not kidding. Now, I, I, honest John, I, I mean, <laughs> admire the heart, I suppose, but not, not smart if you're Honest John. Tito just might make an honest man out of Honest John. Look out here, oh, paint it black, paint Mercy. it black, total decimation. Here by Tito, who's looking for the cover. And there that's going to do it. Here wow. are your winners, Beat Candy and the Wolf Saddies. Wild main event here featuring some of the top teams of the United Wrestling Network, but dominant stuff. And that should come as no surprise by Bad Dude Tito. Look, <laughs> maybe trying to steal the spotlight here a little oh, bit, come. Beef Candy. I, I mean, technically it was a team effort, yes. but Really, Tito batting cleanup and just <laughs> sent them all home. Indeed, I think Tito did the lion's share there, at least at the end. Big swings from bad dude Tito, Wolf Zaddies, and Beef King. Oh, this thing. Okay, as you as you said, no love lost between these two teams. Yeah, it doesn't take much of a catalyst oh, to get these Bell guys riled wrong. up. That match is ancient history. with one another. All right, well, these two teams are probably gonna agree to disagree. We'll see if cooler heads will prevail, but they're all victorious, at least one way or another, and we will catch you next time on Championship Wrestling. Still arguing.